Hello everyone. Today I will tell you about the new functionality of the Grably extension, current version 2.2.12. I'll immediately mention that all links to websites, extension links, and other details can be found in the description below this video. Where to find the extension and how to install it? The first option is to visit the site extension.grably.net, select the install menu item, and you will be taken to the extension page. The second option is to go to the Chrome store and search for Grably, then click install in the found list. Registration on the site is very simple, just enter your login and email, a link will be sent to your email, and by following the link, you need to create a password. After that, with this login and password, you can log in. Let's talk about the functionality. Some options are available immediately after installing the extension, some options become available after authorization, and the full functionality is available only in the Pro version, which is available after payment. On the payment page, you can choose a convenient period, but note that the longer the period you choose the more favorable the price will be. An important point, the payment is not a subscription, it's just a one-time payment for a certain period. No money will be automatically deducted after the end of the Pro version period. To continue using it, you will need to pay again. Also, an important point, you can make a payment at any time, and the paid period will be added to the current one. For example, you have 7 days left, and you pay for 3 months, you will have 3 months and 7 days after payment. In the extension window, you see the current version, and can choose the language that is convenient for you. Next is the link to login or the displayed username, also a button to log out. Next to each option you can click on the letter I, and see a short description, or follow the link to see the full manual of how a specific function works with photos or videos. The options. The first option you can see is to enable or disable extensions. Then there is the option to reset the default settings. If you are not sure if you set them correctly, you can reset all settings by default. Hotkeys have been created for the most popular options, and you can view their settings by clicking on the hotkeys link. Let's start by explaining the Amazon options that are available in the Grably extension. Hide Prime Items. Prime Items are approximately 90% FBA items or FBM sellers with Prime status. If you are not a Prime seller, it is advantageous to compete with sellers like this, so you can hide all items marked Prime. Hide Amazon Items. The situation is similar. You may not always want to compete with items sold directly by Amazon, so you can apply this filter to hide all items where Amazon is the seller. Hide items with variations. This option hides items with variations. Only currently unavailable. Items that the seller has run out of, and currently they are not available. When using this option, make sure that the option to show currently unavailable items is enabled on the Amazon page. We have automated the process of enabling this option automatically, but Amazon often updates functionality, so it's better to check if showing currently unavailable is enabled. Hide advertising blocks. A very useful option if you need to quickly browse products, it removes a lot of unnecessary information, and the Amazon page loads quickly. Here, you see these ad blocks, they load not very quickly, and we can disable them which will speed up the work. I always use it. Walmart search button. Quick search on Walmart for the current product by name. When we click on the current product, we go to Walmart, where the search bar is already set up. This is convenient for quickly searching for similar products. eBay search button. Switch to eBay to search for a similar item. There are also additional options that allow you to have options for buy it now and the location will be North America. 
If these options are enabled, then after clicking on the eBay button, you will be taken to the search page and here you will see that the But It Now option and the North America location are already selected. Show ASIN displays the ASIN of the product on the search page. There is also a button here for quickly copying the ASIN to the clipboard. Just click, and ASIN is copied to clipboard. Show Buy Box shows whether there is a buy box button on the item. This is the button that sellers compete for. When we need to understand which items don't have a buy box, we will see this on the product search page. Show brand allows you to see the brand on the search page. Show BSR. BSR is a best seller's rank an important indicator that shows the sales ranking of the product in a specific category. Together with BSR, we see the category, by clicking on the category, you can see BSR in other subcategories. Prime, Amazon, FBA, FBM. Shows whether the item is prime, whether Amazon is present as a seller on the item, and how many FBA and FBM sellers. By clicking on this bar, we will go directly to the seller's page. BSR filter. You can specify the BSR range you are interested in. Items that do not fall into this range will be hidden. There is a cross to clear two parameters. I also wanted to mention that all these filters work on the seller's page, seller storefront. Recently, we added a new filter on the seller's page that allows you to filter prices right on the seller's page. You can set a price range so that only products with the prices you need remain. About Amazon options, I've covered everything. Let's move on to eBay options. Prices table. This table is created for a better understanding of what price to set on Amazon to achieve the desired price after the sale. You can also specify your commission percentage on Amazon. For a detailed study of the calculation, you can go to the description and read how it works. Just click the help icon. New, buy it now, location, returns accepted, this is the button on eBay to set these parameters in one click. When searching for products on eBay, I almost always select options, new, buy it now, location is North America and return accepted. This button allows you to enable them with one click, which is convenient and quick. Search on Amazon button. We go to Amazon in one click and immediately fill in the search field for the given product. Only with fast and free. On eBay, there are items that are delivered very quickly and shipping is free. Previously they were marked with fast and free, over time these markings change. Currently it's free 3-day shipping but the essence remains the same, they are items with fast and free shipping, that's what this filter is for. Phone and message field. When copying the address from an Amazon order and pasting it on eBay, we can independently specify a message for the seller and our phone. If these fields are filled, they will be used when pasting the address. Display options for quantity, sold quantity, shipping, return conditions and brand. You can enable these parameters for convenience and see them without entering each item separately. Hide if quantity is less than specified. To hide items with a small quantity, you can use this filter. It will only work for items where the quantity is specified. Walmart options. On Walmart, there are also buttons for quick search on Amazon and eBay, where on eBay, we can also specify additional options that will be enabled when transitioning. The last option is cross-browser copying. This will be convenient for those who need to copy the order address on one computer, but need to paste it on another computer. You need to log in with the same Grably username, then by clicking copy order, it will be transferred to the Grably account buffer and will be available for pasting in a different browser. About quick copying function. 
You can copy the address from an order on the Amazon page as well as from Excel or a text file and paste it on eBay, Amazon, Walmart when placing an order. The address format should be the same as you see on the screen, separated by a comma, space, or tab sign. Currently, address insertion is supported on Amazon, eBay, Walmart, and AliExpress. The last thing I wanted to say is about giving feedback to us. The first option is email, you can always write me an email. The second option is Facebook, then WhatsApp, and there is also a Telegram channel where you can participate in discussions about options and functionality. All links will be in the video description. If certain options are not clear or you need more functionality, please write to me.